shit. James Brown was on some whole nother shit. If you listen to some James Brown right now and then listen to some Young Thug, that's the same shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Hey, <laughs> what's something we doing? Well, I, I, I do the commercial. I can't let you do get out of Top three artists of all time, dead or alive, man. Top three Top artists. Top three artists. In Top genre. three? Yeah. You ain't gonna be mad if they all black folks out here. I'm not gonna, it don't matter to me. Yeah, your top three. Top okay. three, yo top three, number one. Top three. Michael Jackson. There he is again. Beyonce. Beyonce, that's a dope one. That three. James Brown. James Brown, that was dope. People I, gotta understand. That's a first James one. Brown was like the Jay Z of his era for like 30 years. <laughs> The movie is crazy though. I'm telling you, nigga. The you, music is too though. J- James Brown was on some whole nother shit. If you listen to some James Brown right now and then listen to some Young Thug, that's the same shit. <laughs> this dude, here, hell is mine. Hey, is there. All like right, it. watch this. You got a lot of people who watch your show. If there are any DJs out here, somebody make us a mix with some James Brown vocals on some Young Thug beats and vice versa. Just to show these motherfuckers, I ain't crazy. <laughs> Listen to that song, <laughs> Big Payback. That don't sound that like some hard. young thug shit. That hoe go hard, Get man. No. <laughs> <Get out, man. laughs> this boy is hilarious, you man. You could have came up right behind that and I'm like, lifestyle. <laughs> see, that my bullshit. <laughs> Why y'all ain't had Birdman on y'all show? You know? I, I would love to have Birdman on my man, show. That's, I'm, I'm a big Birdman man, fan. I don't have nobody, no connect. You gotta know a nigga that, that know a nigga, nigga to get in touch with Birdman. I, I thought love I was that gonna nigga, man. be able to make that shit happen, but I'm the nigga number one fan. You don't. Nah, you crazy. Damn, Damn, babe. I was, I was a fan of that nigga man. when he changed his name to Beatrice. <laughs> He don't give a damn. You with him. Nigga. Period. I love that nigga because he always Me sound too. like he about to cry. <laughs> He sure do. Who's the bigger fan? Y'all started talking about the music. Oh man, it ain't really just about the music. It's the boss moves that I man. love. It's them boss moves. That I, the song's cool, but I, I love like the way the nigga moves. Every time move, they man. ask that nigga something, he just turn into a money conversation. Bird man, how you feeling? Well, I just signed for another three hundred million. Man, and I'm about to sign for another four hundred million, <laughs> and I'm gonna take another two hundred million, and I'm gonna buy another hundred million dollar house, and then there's you no know, cash money to the debt of me. <laughs> And nigga, That's it, boy. I do this with Miss Gladys, bro. Oh, we love it, man. That like he we, love Miss Gladys. Man, he's a male, it, bro. This nigga is just one of them dudes that in the South, man, for me, bro, he not letting he not playing about us either. He kinda like that that PMC feel for me. Like he got his own thing going and you got to respect it. That's what I like about the nigga. Mm-hmm. You go respect it, and that's what I. And he ain't playing about it either. So that's the. He big. got a lot of dope ass philosophies oh, too. Oh man, nigga you dope know, as hell. like a hater is a nigga who don't really know you, man. But envy, that's a motherfucker around you every day. Damn, did you, envy the, the, the Breakfast Club thing we, <laughs> now, um, when that big happened? Facts. Well, no, I'm talking about when the Breakfast Club thing happened when he went in there and he was like, "I ain't gonna say that no more." I was like, "That nigga upset." Yeah, put some respect on my name. He, I was like, that damn. needed to happen though. Think of like think of how monumental that moment is. That's something that, that, that I'm glad that it didn't get out of hand. But it could have got out of hand. That was just enough pressure for that situation. Nah, that could have got out of hand. He had twenty years behind him. That wouldn't got out of hand. Derez, I asked Derez how he felt in there that day. He told me he was like, man, I was just trying to. I was on the wall, nigga. Like I say, shit. It was is we finished or is we done? <laughs> Pulling up on you, nigga. Yeah, but I'm the radio guy. Why I pull up on the radio guy? Don't act tough with the radio guy. I hate my nigga. Y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. It surprising me. It like, was a surprise. Even if, even, even if, even if it was a discussion before that happened, I didn't. It wasn't enough of a discussion for me to understand what was finna happen. Like, yeah, it was just awesome. We finna go in here. I'm, you know, we gonna talk or whatever. I don't know what was actually said. I can't remember. I just so know long, y'all stormed that thing, man. Nah, that was regular shit. Well. I mean, yeah, it was regular shit. Like, that's how a nigga moving, but... Yeah. When that shit happened, it was like, oh, shit. How was the energy in the room? That's what I'm talking I'm saying, as soon as we walked in, it was, hey, let me tell you, motherfuckers, uh, oh, shit, it's on. Like, what's <laughs> happening? That's I'm, what trying to, I'm trying to see who, what's going, who, what, man, you know what I mean? Like, you see you my... know, you like, nigga ain't finna sneak me. Like, let me see what really going that's on. That's what it was <laughs> That needed to happen. 
Damn, it was hella, hella, hella epic moment for the culture, man. Yeah, yeah. Now they yeah. gonna have to break up. Yeah. All of them. Who? Now, Breakfast Club. No, no. They, they, are, they, they ain't really she breaking up. Yeah, but they too. get another. They're gonna get a replacement, man. Shout out to the culture, re- man. You can't get no replacement yeah. for Angela. You. Yeah, you can. The culture yeah, guy must go on. They talked about uh, man, it. What's, ain't never what's good. Papoose wife, you man? You don't never what's get no name? good replacement uh, when you try to replace some shit. Papoose wife, what's her name? Remy Ma. Yeah, Remy. They they think about Remy. They said Remy. ain't gonna work. It yes, could. it is. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> Look at you. I know she you back, ain't she? She got that. Her voice. People love it, don't Yo, you? that man, they coming back from them breaks and just Remy right there. Are you dumb? <laughs> it's going to work. Yeah, her It'll voice work. is. I ain't going to say she got a deep voice, but she got a very got calming a, voice. She got a, a, a voice that you, you know her voice is yeah. distinct. She be Man, she yeah, be yeah, she I don't know. I think she, I, I don't know. Charlemagne and her. She I don't know. He might push her button. You think so? Yeah, yeah, she will. she snaps. But that would be good content. That that'll be good. See, that's all people Papu's give coming, He gonna be sitting right there the whole time. Yo, King, don't ever disrespect. <laughs> Shout out to my nigga Papoose, Papoose man. Him a bit. Bro, when yeah. Papoose and Remy yeah. first came on Wild and Out, that nigga Papoose was he was overreacting to every joke. <laughs> I was like, nigga. Calm down. We comedians. It's okay. He looked right at me and was like, oh, you one of them funny niggas. <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.